Welcome to this video tutorial on how to perform a search in data. Data is a database of studies of the accuracy of diagnostic tests used by physiotherapists. You can access the search page from the data homepage at data.org.au. Click the search link in the header or footer or on the search wedge in the data icon in the centre of the page. When searching data, you can enter search terms using any of 14 different fields or categories. Some of these fields have pull down lists that you can choose from. These are indicated by the arrow symbol. For example, the body part field lists the different anatomical regions that would be the focus of a diagnostic test. You can select a term by clicking on it. Other fields allow you to type text into search boxes. For example, you could type anterior cruciate ligament in the title and abstract field. It is important to note that you do not need to enter search terms in every field of the search page. Before searching data, we strongly encourage you to think about the question you are asking. A good memory aid for asking questions is PICO. For questions about diagnosis, P stands for population or patient or presentation, I stands for issue or investigation or index test, C stands for comparator, the reference test that will be used to determine the index test's accuracy, and O stands for outcome, which means the diagnosis that we would like to confirm or rule out with the index test. We will use this clinical question to demonstrate how to search data. In athletes with an acute knee injury, how accurate is the Lockman test for detecting anterior cruciate ligament injury compared to magnetic resonance imaging? In this question, the patient is athletes with acute knee injury, the investigation is the Lockman test, the comparator is magnetic resonance imaging, and the outcome is anterior cruciate ligament injury. Now you think of search terms for each of the PICO elements. The patient could be identified using musculoskeletal in the drop-down list for the subdiscipline field and lower leg or knee in the drop-down list for the body part field. The investigation could be identified by typing Lockman with an asterisk in the name of index test field. The comparator could be identified by selecting health technology in the drop-down list for the type of reference test field or by typing magnetic resonance imaging into the name of reference test field and the outcome could be identified by typing anterior cruciate ligament into the abstract and title field. Importantly, you don't need to specify all of the PICO elements in your search. Usually, just one or two are enough, so you should choose between the elements. Think which of the elements will inevitably and uniquely be associated with the studies that I wish to find. Enter those search terms into data. You might have noticed that we used an asterisk at the end of some words. The asterisk is the truncation symbol in data. Putting an asterisk at the end of a string of text will return all articles containing words that start with that string of text. So Lockman asterisk will return articles that contain both Lockman and Lockmans. This is an example of end truncation. You can also use leading truncation to search for words that end with the same string of text. For example, asterisk edema will return articles containing the words edema, edema, lymphedema and lymphedema. Let's start the search by using the terms for the patient. Select musculoskeletal in the drop-down list for the subdiscipline field and lower leg or knee in the drop-down list for the body part field. Click the Start Search button to perform the search. The search results page is now displayed. This includes the title and method for all the articles indexed in data that are coded as musculoskeletal in the subdiscipline field and lower leg and knee in the body part field. The total number of records is displayed at the top of the page, in this case 220. This is too many articles, so we need to make the search more specific by adding some more search terms. You can do this by pressing the back button in your browser or clicking on the continue searching hyperlink. Let's add a term for the investigation from our question by typing Lockman asterisk into the name of index test field. Click the start search button to perform the search again. There are now 16 records that fulfill the search criteria. These are all the articles which are coded as musculoskeletal in the subdiscipline field and as lower leg and knee in the body part field and include the text Lockman in the name of index test field. This is probably a reasonable number of search results to scan through. We can narrow it down some more by adding an extra element from our PICO question to the search terms by clicking the continue searching hyperlink. Let's add another search term to define the comparator from our question. Select Health Technology, which encompasses all medical imaging, in a type of reference test field. Click the Start Search button to perform the search again. There are now seven articles. This is definitely a reasonable number to scan through to choose the article or articles that best answer our clinical question. 
Click on the title hyperlink to view the abstract. To find out more about searching data, have a look at the Search Help page. This can be accessed by clicking Learn in the header or the Search Help hyperlink. We have just demonstrated how to use the data search interface. Asking a PICO question will help you to choose terms for your search. But remember, you don't need to specify all of the PICO elements in your search. A good starting point is to enter terms for the patient and investigation elements of your question. Truncation will let you find all terms that start or end with the same string of text. Our initial search produced a large number of search results. To overcome this, we made our search more precise by adding extra terms. The opposite can also occur. If your search returns too few or even no articles, you can make your search broader by removing terms. There is a skill to searching. At first you may find that your searches return too many results or too few or results which are not relevant to your needs. But with practice you will get better at conducting searches and you will become able to quickly identify a few studies that are most relevant to your search question. Mm -hmm.